everyone. So you may have seen my blog post about how you can make the icons on your folders look fancy on your desktop. So I'm going to show you very quickly how you can do that. And so what we're going to use for this is we're going to use PowerPoint. So you open up PowerPoint and you can make your um, folders look like anything. So I wanted mine to look like a circle. So you would draw your shape and change it to the color that you obviously want it to be and then you would insert the text that you um, want to have on it so for example I'm just going to show you practice so you change the font to whichever font you want change your size um, move it into the middle that looks great. So what you want to do is you then want to push, um, I'm on a Mac, so you're going to push Command A and it's going to select everything on your PowerPoint slide that you've got. Then near the shape here you're going to right click and it's going to come up down here with Save as Picture. So if you click Save as Picture it will then show you where you want to save it. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop to show you. Now you want to make sure that it is definitely a PNG file, not a JPEG, okay, PNG, click save, and let's just check, oh look, there it is, cool. So what you want to do then is you want to open it, and you want to check that there is no grey space around the outside, okay, because that means when you copy it um, into the folder, it will look like a perfect circle like these ones down here on the side. So you then um, select everything in that picture, and you can see it's selected because it's got the dots. You copy it, Command C, and you then click on your folder here that you have, you right click, and it's going to come up with Get Info. You then click Get Info, and here we are here, I'll move into the middle for you, and up here is that little folder. If you click on it, and then paste Command V, it will then change it to make it look like your pretty icon folder. So then this, you can just save it, put it somewhere else. Um, I have a separate folder for them saved just in case I need them. But that is how you make a pretty icon background for your desktop. Uh, hope you learned something. Any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching.